Hello friends, welcome back to C++ lecture. Today we will be learning about collections, vectors, and how to use vectors and all of this stuff. So without wasting any of the time, let's get started. So what is collection? So many programs need to work with similar items. So for that purpose, we'll be using collections. Items in an order, example, items in an order, people in a department, these all are type of a collections. So one type of collection is a vector. Vector holds a number of values that are all of same data type. So let me show you it with an example. A hash include uh, standard library for vector is hash include vector. Yeah, that's so this is a library that we'll be using and obviously we have to type using standard and vector now i'll be creating a vector of integer so how to create it let me show you first the main variable Now, just type vector and the data type that is int and the vector variable name that is let me do it as nums. Yeah. So this is a vector of uh, data type int and of uh, vector variable as nums. So in vector to push the elements into a vector, there's a keyword keyword called as pushback. So how to use it? Let me just show you. So here variable is nums. So we'll be typing here nums dot pushback, push underscore back. And the element you want to push must be written in the brackets. Suppose I want to push three. So I'll be pushing three into the nums vector, which is of int data type and terminate it with semicolon. So now, as you might have seen, uh, for loop is made up of three parts. That is initialization, updation, initialization, condition and updation. So there is another type to use a for loop. That is, uh, that is known as a ranged for loop. Let me show you. Ranged for loop uh, is useful while we are dealing with vectors. So for ranged for loops, there is a keyword called auto. And uh, let me declare variable as item. and a colon with the name of vector that is nums terminated with semicolon so this is a range for loop that is it goes from beginning to end of all the variables that have been entered into this nums vector So when I type C out, wait a second, C out, so not, not declared, must declare. So I can just type it here, standard C out. Now it must run. Yes. 
Now for printing the values of the for loop, I'll just type item because that's the variable that is been declared here. So item and then backslash and then semicolon. So I've not declared the header file. This is just a syntax. We will deal with. I'll show you a proper demonstration so you can understand better. Just for time being, you understand the syntax of this ranged for loops. Now to access the elements in vectors, the so to access elements in vector, we can use the nums that is vector variable name and the square brackets since all the initialization begins from 0 that is 0 1 2 3 i can change the values as suppose i want to change the third element so i'll be typing 2 and change the value to suppose 23 now whatever the value is there on the third uh, that that is third uh, variable is changed to 23 so there is another header file to work with vectors that is known as hash include algorithm so hash include Algorithm. So this is uh, usually used with vector. So some of the keywords that are included in the algorithm header file are sort and count. Sort and count. I'll explain you that also in the demonstration very clearly. So without wasting any of our time, let's see the demonstration. I'll just clear it. I'll be creating a file as demo underscore vectors dot get. I'll just give it as a demo dot cpp. Now the file has been created. Now let us first include all the standard libraries that are needed to perform vector operations. Those are first the obviously hash include iostream and in that we'll be using standard cout and scene functions. So that is it. Same functions. Now for the next header file that is string header file. Hash include string header file. And for that we'll be using standard string. Now for the next header file is our vector header file as I showed you earlier hash include there are a lot of header files these are only just some of them hash include vector and obviously we will be using standard vector and that's it and We'll be also using some of the other keywords that are included in uh, vector header file is using standard begin and using standard end. I'll show you how to use them in this demonstration. Don't worry. 
so one more header file that is i just said that is algorithm algorithm and then we'll be using here standard sort and standard count yeah so these are the header files that will be included in this demonstration totally four header files and the keywords that we will be using and now finally our main operation now okay let me create a vector Just let me create a vector and which will be pushing the element a uh, uh, vector of int variable that is vector of int note that uh, here angle brackets are used let me give the word variable name as nums yes now for pushing the values in this nums as i told you earlier we'll be using for loop first let me just show you the regular for loop int i is equal to 0 and i is less than 10 and i plus plus now in this for loop we will type in nums dot push back and the value that is i and semicolon yes so all the values from 0 to less than 10 that is 0 to 9 values will be stored in push back to this vector named as nums so for printing i'll use i'll use the range for loop that is for auto item semicolon and the vector name that is nums now to print the value c out so here the variable in is item so i'll be typing here as item yes i'll save it and i'll show you it run it see as you can see all the values from 0 to 9 gets printed over here that's it now for the next concept i'll create a vector of strings vector angle brackets string one more angle bracket i'll be naming it as let me give it a name as words yes i've created a vector which is a string data type and vector name is words now uh, let me let the user type the words so for that see out and the suppose for example let enter you and let the user enter three words so that is enter the three words yes I'll be using a for loop. Yes, I'll be using a for loop. That is int 
i is equal to 0 i less than 3 and i plus plus now in this for loop i'll be creating a spring s now all the words that have been entered by the user i want to get stored in this string s yes. so for that scene and the s of all the words that are stored uh, that are entered by the users and are and, and is stored in the string s i want it to push back to the vector words so for that i'll just type as words dot push back and just type here as s yeah. now to print it same for loop that is ranged for loop for auto is a keyword item semicolon sorry just a colon for auto item and the vector that is words okay now here to print those values just type c out and the item yes so I'll save it and I will run it. Enter the three words. Let me type as cat, dog, bat. So you can see your cat, dog, and bat is printed over here. So we have basically created a vector of string data type and vector name as words. And one more string is s so all the words that have been entered by users get stored in this s string and all the words that are in s string again we have pushed back it to the word vector and we have just printed okay now Let me tell you something about, okay, I want to print, suppose if I want to print the size of the vector, for that we have dot size operator, that is, example, let me show you an example, see out, vector nums has nums dot size see a dot size is a keyword nums dot size and again elements in it I'll save it and I'll run it. So cat dog in back. Vector nums has ten elements. See here. All these ten elements. Zero to nine. So vector nums has ten elements and we can use make use of dot size operator here. Now in the previous topic I have said you how to access the elements of the vector for that just type the vector name and use the square bracket suppose i want to change the third position i'll be typing here as 2 so uh, let me make it as 23 and similarly i want to change the fourth position i'll type as 24 
and similarly I want to change the fifth position I will make it as 25 now when I want to print it again a for loop that is a ranged for loop I'll save and I'll run it. Now you can see here 2, 3, and 4 values will be updated to 23, 24, and 25. I'll run it and I'll show you. So this is the previous value. Now let me enter cat, dog, and bat. See 0, 1, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, let me change my yes. It's okay, it's fine. 0, 1, 23, 24, and the sixth value has been changed. That is 25. So, by the making use of square brackets, I can access each element of the vector. Now, uh, let's make use of sort and uh, count operators so for that you just need to type sort words sorry sorry, sorry. begin and the vector name that is words comma and so this is the syntax and comma so here uh, we are making use of sort operator that is we have to begin the sort from begin the sort operation in the vector words and end it in the vector words and we have to just terminate it with semicolon now when I enter cat, dog and bat, it will check alphabetically and sort it in a proper order. So for printing the sorted order, again see out, wait a second, I must use a ranged for loop for auto item. Words. See out. Item. Yes. I'll now run it. Enter three words. So let me enter first dog and apple and bat so initially dog apple bat will be printed now see here apple bat dog all the three words have been sorted in alphabetical order a b and d a for apple b for bat and d for dog so this is the use of sort operator similarly there is another operator known as count operator so for the count usually count is in numbers for that we'll be declaring an int variable suppose for example i want to count the number of threes in the nums vector so for that i'll be creating an int variable called threes which is of int data type is equal to count same same begin begin for mums comma and mums comma and the third comma is used to 
search suppose i want to search three in the nums factor so i'll be typing here as three if you want to search four you can type here four so i want to search three i'll be searching three so i want to count how many threes are there to terminate with the semicolon okay save okay now let's print it or maybe i can just type it as i want to count how many fours are there i'll be typing here four now to print again a for loop Or else you can make use of just see out number of trees in nums vector is trees yes I'll save now you will see okay, first let me enter cat bat apple okay sorted see number of trees in nums vector is one as you can see here zero one so okay okay not trees since i have written here four let me make this variable as force and here also force and here also force okay cat dog and bat bat cat dog is c number of force in nums vector is 1 that is 0 1 23 4 see only one four is there so it has printed the count of number count of force that is only one four is there in this vector so that's the use of count variable operator now we can make use of this count operator in vector strings also that is in let me say repeat is equal to count begin words end words and suppose I want to count number of says fly i want to how many words with fly are present in words vector so for that term it with semicolon now see out number of fly in words vector is repeat Okay, so I'll save it and run it. Let me type fly two times. Fly, fly, and bat. You'll see number of fly words in vector here is two will be printed. See number of fly in words vector is two. So this way you can make use of count operator. In vector of strings 
I can also check the number of, for example, number of T's in letter in any word. Suppose, let me take an example of tic tac. So I want to count the number of T's in that word. For that also, we'll be using int T's is equal to count begin words vector so in the i want to check the number of t's in the first word only first word so for that i'll be typing the index value 0 comma and words again the same index value 0 for the first value for the first word the index value is 0 don't get confused uh, to count t Send now ca out number of t's in first word of vector words is t's so let me type the words as okay here we have to make use of since it is a single character it's t i'll save again run again now let me type as tick tac Yach as my second word and zebra as my third word. See the number of t's in the first word of vector is two. That is t and t. Here one t and here one. So by this way you can count the number of t's or in or in the whole vector words. So that is it for today's lecture. Today we have learnt about vector, different type of vectors and different types of for loop, different operators such as sort, count. Yeah, that's it. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.